In terms of uh, the role of uh, parliamentarians in uh, public uh, debt management and financial management, public financial management, it's very, very important for members of parliament to know that in the scheme of the separation of powers, they actually are the supreme oversight institution over government operations. So they act on behalf of the people, so they have a big responsibility, and it's very, very important for them to appreciate the role that they have to play, because they are elected to serve the people that elect them. And so for them to deliver, they need to ensure that the government operates within the law and spends money according to the purpose for which it's meant to be spent, and where borrowing does take place, where it's necessary to borrow. The borrowing is done for the correct purpose, and the, that expenditure goes to the purpose that it's intended for. As regards uh, organizations such as Afrodad, and the need for them to uh, target members, female members of parliament, it's very, very critical, because as an institution that supports members in terms of capacity building, it's important for members of, female members of parliament to be capacitated to understand that they actually represent the voice of the voiceless. Because females in our setup in, in the world, in the uh, kind of society that we live in, are always disempowered. They're at the bottom of the pile. So they need somebody to speak for them, because they're the poorest in the society. They're disempowered. They need to be picked up. They need, and members of parliament Ha, as particularly female members of parliament, actually have a voice that can articulate the issues that affect uh, those at the bottom of the pile, the disempowered, especially women and children.